For 28 weeks, Theresa has been coming for antenatal care at the Buakwa Polyclinic. She was hoping to give birth to a third child in this facility. With just two days for her to undergo a caesarean section, the mother of two walks in here with smiles and full hope. But she would rather return home disappointed after the medical superintendent broke the news of no birth to her. Your time has even passed, so we need to arrange and prepare you for CS, as you've already been informed. But unfortunately, we don't have a bed for you at the moment. I have no option but to refer you to another facility, since your condition needs immediate attention. I've planned, I planned with my husband that I would deliver at a Buakwa Polyclinic. But for this, uh, unfortunately, no. She, he has asked me to go to another facility. I'm very worried, yes. I'm going to discuss with my husband what he will say. The Buakwa Polyclinic serves as the main referral point to all health centers in the Achuman Wabija municipality of Ashanti region. With an average monthly attendance of 3,000 patients, the facility has only 10 beds. Medical superintendent Dr. Mensa Manye is unhappy the facility still struggles to detain patients for further treatment due to inadequate bed. Attendance of 250, 300 in a day is very, very high. But it has been worrisome in that patients who are debilitated very sick and ill. They come, you assess them clearly, you know that this one must go for admission. What are the best, my brother? And as you've come, you can see a lot of clients that are waiting outside, just waiting for people to be discharged so that they can also go and occupy their bed. Ask whether the absence of bed has ever caused lives of patients. Dr. Manye had this to say. I think I, may, uh, I can remember two of them who died, but uncountable suffered. Suffered the faith in such a way that we try to do with the chairs. Because we know obviously where we should refer to also end up telling us there are no beds. We should, they are giving a four hour, five hours. Just like the Ibuakwa Polyclinic, the challenge of inadequate beds is common in most health facilities. Health authorities here say patients who need to be admitted for further examination have to be turned away on several occasions due to no bed. And this is affecting quality health care delivery. The Sustainable Development Goal 3 targets universal access to quality health care by 2030. But issues like no bed syndrome will derail the country's health gains and may further widen the gap towards achieving the quality health goal. Brahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Ibuakwa, Ashanti region.